And welcome, this is Baller Scuba with Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink, dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling, must seem like an 18-carat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start.
Well, that's one hell of an introduction. We're a courier, apparently. That's not as cool as when we were in the vault, I must say. I have quite a bit of DLC installed, so they're going to be giving me a whole ton of shit right now. Tribal packs from all the DLC. Caravan packs. You're awake. How about that? How about that? I did not die at the beginning of the game. Apparently, like, they're giving me way too much shit. Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? I can. As suggested by Zarzar Binks One, this is going to be Mike Benrado. I tried to say it, they wouldn't let me. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. Screw you, that's I'm a good Doc name. Goodspring. Welcome to Good Spring. How you doing, Doc? Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. You left a chunk of my brain out. How'd I do? Oh, that that is not good at all. I think this is much more befitting. Mike Benrado. Yes. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Apparently I get very dizzy when I stand up. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Why are you Take standing... Slow now. It ain't a race. So, so damn close to me. I know how to move. Thank you for telling me, though. Uh, I'm always going to be running pretty much all the damn time. Now, we do have so a couple far. modifications installed. Just a couple, but you might have noticed them already. Right quick if you get back all your faculties. Yeah, I'm... I'm capable of doing this all by myself. I just want to go over the mods. I do have a texture mod installed and a character face overhaul installed. Hopefully those make the game look a little bit better, which I think they do. I think they do. Look at his face. It's quite realistic. All right. You want me to put in my special stats? Apparently. Oh, that's right. I will have these all set up. As mostly suggested by... Killer Pork V2. We are going to go with this being my stats for now. For now, we will try to get those increased as we move along. Unfortunately, I couldn't get intelligence up to 7 like I wanted. But that should be good. How's that? Yeah, that's a pretty standard score there. But after what you've been through, I'd say that's great news. Uh, I'm sure well, that's... You know your vitals are good. Good, But right. that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a bighorn and dropped them. Ew. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. I have dogs now. I want dogs. Fine, I will sit on your couch. That is the look of a grizzled man. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Oh, this doesn't matter. Dog. So I am going to give him the craziest answers that they will give me. Kick the dog. House. Your daughter come to my house and she kicked my dog. Target. Night. Uh. Silencer. Bandit. Me. Swiss cheese. Light. Uh. None of these are that funny, are they? Light is heavy, apparently. Mother. I always go the opposite. Whatever is like light, dark, mother, father. That doesn't always seem to work. Mother is a cookie jar. Human shield. Mm. Sometimes when you give tests like this, you learn more than you was hoping for. And I reckon that ain't always the best thing. I don't think you trust me anymore. But I guess maybe it explains a thing or two about your predicament. Hey. Okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one, conflict just ain't in my nature. I strongly disagree. I will be killing damn near everything that comes my way. 
I ain't given to relying on others for support. I strongly... I... wait. I ain't given to relying? Fine, I'm, I'm a loner, yes. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Well, I am recording. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. I don't like your damn wheel! I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Hell no! I'm gonna hide behind a rock the whole game. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. They're all vaginas. Every last one of them is a vagina. They're not going to give me that option now. An angry two-headed ant. I don't see a noosing wound, shadow in a doorframe, chemical reaction, a broken chain. Sure, a broken chain. Okay. How about this one? It's still a vagina. It still is. I see a priceless work of art. A ship at sea? A ship at sea? I can see. No, I'm I'm not too embarrassed to say that it looks like a vagina. It totally does. Fine, it's a ship at sea. Last one. Uh, two guys high-fiving. They're wearing, like, funny hats. How do you not give me that option? They're clearly high-fiving. They're, like, on their knees high-fiving or some shit like that. A bearded man? I kind of see that. A... A mushroom cloud, if it's like upside down, maybe. A light in the darkness. A head on a pillow. I don't see a head on a pillow. Uh, the only one that I kind of see is a bearded man. Well, that's all she wrote. Am I crazy, Doc? I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. All right, based on a vote once again, uh, this does not look good to me. Not at all, but like I said, it didn't really matter. Uh, people wanted guns, which is very good for me. Repair. And then it was between um, medicine and survival. I will be going for survival. We'll make that pretty apparent as we go along. Hopefully, though, I can level up. All this other stuff as we keep going as well. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. What's that? I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. I have amnesia. Just formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Well, Uncle Billy did get hit in the head a couple times. When it comes to traits, did I get any requests for traits? I did actually. Yes. Small frame? Due to my small size, you have plus one agility, but your limbs are more easily crippled. This might not be good considering how much I'm emphasis emphasizing survival, but hey, we'll do it. And trigger discipline. Hey, more accuracy is always good. I will be using VAT extensively. All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me. I'll see you out. All right. Get me up. Oh, God. That is one grizzled mic. Where are we going? We're going this way. Can I loot you? Apparently I could. There's no problem with that. Pre-war books. I will try not to hoard pre-war books. At least until I get a place to store them. How you doing? Here. These are yours. It was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. Why did you strip me in the first place? I, fine. Thank you, Doc. I don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. 
Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. Yeah, one time's enough. Do I want to turn on hardcore mode? Fallout New Vegas allows you to play in a new hardcore mode that greatly increases the challenge of the game. In this mode, stim packs heal over time and cannot mend broken limbs. Rataway removes radiation over time, ammunition has weight, and dehydration is a constant concern. This mode is only recommended for advanced players. You may turn hardcore mode on or off if I could speak, it would help at any time in the gameplay menu, but if you activate hardcore mode now and maintain it through the end of the main storyline, you will receive a special reward. Would I like to activate hardcore mode now? Yes. Yes, I would. This is going to be very, very difficult, isn't it? All right, let's head out to Good Springs, our first town. I have no idea where this is on the map. I'm from California, and I have no idea where this is going to be. Not a single clue. 